Hey there, I'm Deborah Acosta, here to deliver the latest trends. The world of electronics enthusiasts was once reserved for engineers and scientists, but not anymore. New technologies have emerged that let the average layman create all sorts of strange things using special circuit boards called Arduino. Plants that send Twitter messages when they need to be watered, shoes that light up as you walk. Ever wanted to build your own robot? Well, it may now be possible. The maker movement is here. The maker movement is like a do-it-yourself culture on steroids, electronic steroids. People can now integrate the physical and digital world using cheap tools and free software. The physical nature of these projects has led to physical communities where hobbyists come together to share ideas. Right now, there are 400 such hacker spaces nationwide, one of which is the Learned Nerd Space in South Florida. So, a lot of us look around at nerds and think, oh my goodness, this is so complex, I can't do this, I can't possibly understand what really goes into this. And the truth is, it's simple. It is so simple, it is very easy to get involved into a maker community. At the heart of the maker movement is Arduino. These credit card sized circuit boards are actually small computers that allow folks like you and me to build really cool stuff. And it only costs $20. If you can manage your Facebook profile, you can make something cool using Arduino. The idea of the Arduino microcontroller is really what just opened the floodgates. And it went from impossible to half an hour, I can have you making cool stuff, without a doubt. The 3D printer is another popular maker tool. You can build your own printer using Arduino, or you can buy one from MakerBot Industries, a startup in New York. The printers allow you to print 3D objects, layer by layer, using melted plastic extruded from a nozzle. At $1,300, these printers make it affordable for individuals to become manufacturers. If you can dream it, you can build it, yourself. You know, this sort of innovation is what's going to improve uh, where we are here in America and start bringing manufacturing back stateside and, and even better commoditizing it and democratizing it. It shouldn't be in the hands of a corporation, it should be in the hands of innovative young engineers who are, they're going to be the ones that's going to change the future. Are you part of the maker movement? If not, would you be interested in joining? Tell us about it by going to miamiherald.com slash insight or tweet it at me at Deborah Acosta. Until next time.